All right, SE appearing students, how are you? Are you fine? Good. So, I heard again the lockdown time has increased, right? Yes. So, it has gone up to? Up to 30 seconds of this up to last of this gesture. See, they are increasing the time. So, what to do? They are saying, but uh, uh, if they cancel right now, later on it will be difficult to manage, isn't it? So, anyhow, the exam must be held. If exam is held, then the system will be maintained accordingly. If not so, then later on, they cannot do such type of exams. Anyway, that is not our concern. Our concern is to study, isn't it? Right? Yes, so, so how many are present there? Here are three and here are two. Okay, yeah, yeah, one, in one group there are two, two. Niraj and Roshan, the great, right? Yes, All right. So, Asa is disappeared. Where has he gone? Okay, students. Now, let's begin our discussion. So, I'm going to share the screen and then we'll be discussing about it. So, Mr. Biru also has come. Uh, students, did you check the shared document? What have I shared today? What did I dis uh, share today? Have you seen or not? That's set question. So today let's try to complete set question. Everybody show me your pen and paper and calculator. Vishwajit, where is your pen, paper and calculator? Good. And let me check this side. Who is here? Asa, where is your pen, paper and calculator? They have. Oh, good. Good. Samit Mananda has some pen, paper, calculator. That's the spirit. I like it. Mr. Biru, where is your pen, paper and calculator? No pen, no paper, no calculator. Biru. And where is your, your video is off then how to see? How to see it? Show it to me. Okay. Hey, Kamal, where is your pen, paper and calculator? Good. So let's begin. I'm going to share the screen now. So document and it's here device storage, cam scanner and SE PDF 31st May today. Okay. May 31st. What is the question? It's being shared over here. Good. Okay, students, you can see. Today we will try to complete one whole set. So I'm just enlarging it. Okay, this is the question. First question is, uh, this is from group A. Write short answer of the following questions. Define free fall. Can you write the definition? Yeah, the falling of a body freely towards the center of a heavenly body is called Free fall. Okay. Write one feature of free fall. Oh, I think this question is uh, not matching. Number B is given in Nepali. Toral padartha ko chaap ko ek bishista lekhnu hoos. But here is given one feature of free fall. One feature of liquid pressure. Number B is write one feature of liquid pressure. So what is one feature of liquid pressure? Liquid pressure is directly proportional to depth of the liquid. The liquid pressure is directly proportional to depth or height of the liquid. Depth of the liquid, you right? A number A discuss, number B discuss, number C now. What is energy crisis? Can you define it? The scarcity of energy sources. The scarcity of energy sources is energy crisis that's good number d now 
on what factors he depend he depends upon mass of the body specific capacity and difference in temperature students now we are in question number e what does the question say what is mean by magnification is one do you know yeah so magnification is one means the size of object is equal to size of image now we are in question number f what is f block element what is f block element good so f block element is the element whose valence electron lies in f subcell whose valence electron lies in f f subcell okay students so we are discussing group a we have completed number uh, complete up to number f now i'm going to discuss from number g g h i j k l let's see uh yes okay question number g 1 g metals are electro positive why do you know metals are electro positive because they donate electrons they lose electrons okay now what is next question define anhydrous salt what do you mean by anhydrous salt the salt which do not contain amount of water good the salt which does not contain water in it is called anhydrous salt for example nacl you can write n a cl next question is what is complete fertilizer do you know can you define complete the fertilizer that supplies almost all nutrients for the plants is called complete fertilizer okay that is called complete fertilizer next question is uh, what is cocoon can you define cocoon the 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 outer protective layer or part of chrysalis or pupa of which one silkworm is called cocoon number k question is what is gray matter can you define gray matter yes sir yeah the outer surface of cerebellum which is made up of cell body of neurons is called gray matter good or the group of cell bodies is called neuron gray matter or the outer part of cerebrum which is made up of group of cell bodies is called gray matter now we are in question number l what is meant by diabetes do you know how do you define diabetes imbalance of yeah the disease or that disease that contains more amount of sugar level in our blood the disease in which there is more amount of sugar level in our blood is called diabetes so here we have to remember before fasting and fasting it is said before fasting means before meal i mean fasting means before meal and after fasting is after having meal so actually what is the normal sugar level do you know actually it should be 70 to 99 mg in deciliter that is before fasting after fasting it should be uh, 140 less than 140 mg per deciliter so if it goes more than 100 before fasting or before meal and more than 140 after meal then it is called diabetes now we are in question number m what does the question say 
Right definition of sex linked disease. So what is the definition of sex linked disease? Yeah, good. The disease that is seen only one type of sex, either male or female. If it is seen in male, it's not seen in female. If it is seen in female, it is not seen in male. The better examples are klein felter syndrome in male, Turner syndrome in female. Okay. Now, students, let's discuss other questions. Question number uh, N. Write the importance of ozone layer. Can you say the importance of ozone layer? Yes, sir. What does ozone layer do? It blocks the direct ultraviolet Yeah, it blocks the direct entry of UV rays to the Earth's surface. It filters 99% UV rays and prevents us from different hazards like skin disease, uh, skin cancer, cataract, etc. Good. Vishwajit has practiced. Those who practice, they are smart and they tell earlier. I think although they didn't practice it, that's why it became difficult for them. Now we are discussing question number O. What does the question number O say? What is fossil? How do you define fossil? Yeah. The remains of plants or animals preserved in sedimentary rocks which used to live in the earth millions of years ago is called fossil. Remains of plants or animals present in sedimentary rocks which used to live in the earth millions of years ago not thousands millions dear students question number one is completed now let's go to next question question number two what does the question number two say question number two means it is group b yeah i'm going to enlarge it if i make it quite bigger one then it will be easy. Question number two. What does question number two say? Two uses of Archimedes principle. Where is Archimedes principle used? Archimedes principle is used in? In ships and submarines. That's right. It is used in ships and submarines. Mr. Biru, are you writing or not? Mr. Biru. He disappeared. Sony. Writing, writing, please. And I have already said you, when I complete discussing these questions, you must be able to say both question and answers. Are you ready for that or not? Okay. Now question number two, already done. Question number three. Scientists are working to develop solar equipments, right? Two reasons. Sorry? No, the one, number one is, uh, two uses of Archimedes principle are, it is used in ship, number one, it is used in submarines. Ship and submarines are different, isn't it? Sir, it is used in lactometer also, sir. In lactometer also you can write, okay. Or hydrometer also you can write if so. Alright? Yes, sir. Question number three. Scientists are working to develop solar equipments, right, two reasons. Why are they... Are busy to develop solar equipments. Number one, what is the reason? It is cheap. Yeah, it is eco friendly. Okay, okay. Good. So, solar energy is everywhere, means available uh, most of the time, means near about 12 hours in a day. And solar equipments do not pollute the environment. And number three, we should not pay money for it because for construction of other things we have to consume more money for it that much money is not needed students now we are in question number four how much calorie of heat is required to
to heat 200 gram of water from 0 degree centigrade to 40 degree centigrade. How much calorie of heat is given? Students, first of all, you have to solve this question using the formula Q equals to MSDT and whatever it comes, you have to multiply or divide. You have to divide. Hey, for example, I am going to guide you. Here is 200 gram. This is M. Small m. M equals to 0 0.2 kg. Am I right? Because <coughs> gram must be converted to kg. 0 to 40 degree means that is dt. Difference in temperature is how much degree centigrade? 40 degree centigrade. We know specific heat capacity of water is 4200 joule per kg degree centigrade. Okay. Then what to calculate your Q? Q equals to what is the formula? M S D T. Okay. M S D T. Good. Now M S D T. Let's substitute the value. So what is the value of M here? 0 0.2. 0 0.2 multiply by 40 multiply by 4200 please multiply so how much it came 33600 joule 33600 joule but that is not our answer we know the relation between joule and calorie 1 calorie equals to 4.2 joule so divide it by 4.2 then it comes joule sorry calorie how much it came 8000 8000 calorie okay understood or not so and students at last don't forget to write the answer in sentence so this much Heat is this much calorie heat is required to uh, raise the temperature. All right, now we are doing question number five. What does question number five say? It says two rays of laws of refraction of light. Do you know rays of refraction of light? Yes, sir. What are they? Two laws of refraction of light by a lens are the ray of light parallel to the principal axis to the principal axis passes through principal focus principal focus done second one the ray of light passing through optical center the ray of light passing through optical center does not deviate does not deviate now we are in question number 6 question is Write two benefits of Mendeleev's periodic table. So, what are the two benefits of Mendeleev's periodic table? Number one. Separate um, metals from non-metals. I am talking Mendeleev's, Babu. Mendeleev's means uh, the two benefits of Mendeleev's periodic table are it contains some gaps it contains some gaps so that scientists are compelled to discover and in invent new elements scientists are compelled to uh, discover and invent new elements number second it gives scientific study of elements it gives systematic and scientific 
study of elements okay now students we are in question number seven question number seven says write differences between acid and base so uh, how will you write the differences like acid is sour in taste and salt salt may be sour bitter or tasteless here is acid and salt difference between acid and salt acid is sour in taste salt may be sour bitter or tasteless number one acid is corrosive in nature spelling c o r o s s i v -E, corrosive in nature salt is not corrosive in nature uh, here students you can give the example example of acid and salt example of acid is hcl hydrochloric acid okay as to as suppose you can give h let me write here h c l this is acid and base is n a c l right so you can do this one now we are discussing next question that is question number uh, eight it is write two applications of metal extracted from magnetite it is saying so which metal is extracted from magnetite iron is extracted from magnetite so you can write the two applications of metal extracted from magnetite are it is used for making weapons it is used for making weapons it is used for making agricultural tools it is used for making rods etc now we are in question number nine what does question number nine say alkyne group is called acetyl in y like this l carbon okay alkyne group is called acetyl in because it contains triple covalent bond between any two carbon atoms and its first member is acetylene or yeah its first member is acetylene is that clear question number nine alkyne group is called acetylene because there is triple covalent bond between to any two carbon atoms and the first member is acetylene first member is acetylene.